Hey everybody, Rod on here. Thanks for tuning in to Kenshi Birth of a Hive. If you need recaps of the rules or goals, here they are. And before I start, I have a little bit of a tip from Andy Salter, mentioning that if I want people to keep off of the throne, I gotta give them somewhere to be, right? So I'm gonna do just that. Uh, let's do... set up some benches out here for people to hang out when there's nothing else going on. So that uh, they don't storm the throne and sit on it like cats. Um, so we'll put some benches. You know what? Actually, let's do these hive uh, tables. Have a little bit of a external feel to it. And then we will also do... Uh, just for sort of design. Um, let's see. A... Hmm. Camping. I cook fire pot. There we go. And maybe a a flat. I don't want to add too many flat shelters because they kind of block line of sight. I could do a scrap tent over it. I don't know. I'd rather see the idle ponds. So we'll get that set up. Um. What else? Pillar here. We'll cotton loom when he's not uh, hemp looming. And then I need to move some of the electrical components because I can see that Queen is uh, idle, meaning the electrical components is full up. Uh, some of these electro electrical components are going to be reinvested and put to use as electricity in our base, but most of it's going to be sold on the trade caravan. Um, all right, so let's continue where we left off. I'm actually going to change the direction I'm headed. So we are all following Ray, and yes, our... Dear Bone Dog sort of fell behind, and I'm going to start beelining southbound. Uh, I'm not going to go to World's End. I'm actually going to go to the hub sort of area. Whoa! Again, waltzing straight into skimmers. Let me just wiggle around them. We can easily outrun them as long as I'm paying attention to where I'm going. World's End doesn't have a Shinobi Thief uh, uh, tower, and that won't... I need one to allow me to rename some of the new guys that I've got. Cater, Styrofast, Stork, and Batai all have been claimed by patrons. Uh, they're all going to become um, craftspeople for the most part. Alright, so now that some of that furniture has been built, uh, what we could do is we can have um, green and... Sanghili, uh, just sort of hang out there, and they will still guard the city, but, no, they have somewhere to be, which is good. Um, as far as tech goes, I think I'm still waiting on this current, whatever you want to call it, it's not quite a caravan recruiting run, something like that, to get home. So, I'm eager for, for Ray and the crew to actually get home. It's funny that we're following someone who's mute. Um, so what I'm going to do is head hard south to avoid running through the Holy Nation, um, as they are quite well geared. And would probably kill everyone in this, the swarm caravan. Good old lightning, right? Guess I need to warn everyone who's epileptic. Uh, who do we have here? We've got... Just a random skeleton. Cool. Every now and then you're going to happen upon, I guess, due to the mods that I've added. Because I haven't fully... I don't fully know the ins and outs of every mod. Oh, so speaking of which, here are some cloud ninjas that um, that just took shots at me. Talon, are you... Yeah, Talon's okay. So we're just going to continue running. Again, uh, we're not a combat squad, so I'm trying to avoid combat. Uh, because we're not really supposed to be in it. But Talon's getting... Talon's getting kind of wrecked back here. He lagged behind and took sort of the brunt of that damage. Yeah, I suppose if they're starting to hit him, uh, I'm going to hit back. That's just what I do. Alright, there's a lot of Cloud Ninjas, though. But, uh, you know, they've, they've, once, once you start attacking me, it's time to take measures that I would otherwise avoid, because I'm 
sort of on a mission here. Now, what's interesting is I think... Uh, maybe this isn't acid rain. Maybe this is just normal rain. Alright, so Silver Shade is getting beat to the head. And yeah, back up. Chez is helping out. Now, I do realize that a lot of the new people don't even have weapons, but uh, because I'm supposed to only have a combat squad of roughly 10, it's sort of intentional that they're undergeared so that I'm not violating any rules. I like how, like, some of them are making landfall now. It's like, good luck. You're a little outnumbered now. These guys ought to have some pretty good gear, though. Alright, so I think Stork... Oh, Stork is actually dying, dying. Don't be so dramatic, you're not dying. Alright, I think the battle's over. Uh, but someone definitely lost an arm or something. Somewhere. Because there's some arms rolling around in the river here. Oddly enough, I don't see anyone without their limbs. So I guess one of these cloud ninjas uh, was also Hyber. And, yep, yeah, this dude right here. And he lost a bunch of limbs. Well, okie dokie then. At least it wasn't me. Alright, so as you can see, some of the cloud ninjas are sort of... Um, sizzling and that's because uh it's acid rain and acid rain hurts non-hivers but hivers don't care so as you can see here i can very easily take a lot of their stuff uh so let's let's do that uh so the ninja rags here uh improve my ability to use crossbows so yes absolutely and then the drifter leather pants are going to be superior to what i'm wearing on most of these guys so uh, yes, absolutely, we will profit off of this battle. Um, let's see here. For now, I think what I'm going to do is stack all this stuff on one of the empty bone dogs. And then dole it out after I have sort of the, the stack. So dark leather shirts, they're going to sell for a lot. We'll take the ninja masks. Um... These boots are decent, and then the rags that I had there were worthless. Uh, Alright, let's keep going down. This guy barely has limbs. So Hella is going to get uh, more ninja rags. The reason why I'm putting ninja rags on, it allows me to fire my crossbows 10% faster, which is kind of nice. And then if there's any other extra ninja rags, I ought to give them to Talon, because that will give him a martial arts bonus. Uh, so this Merc leather armor could go to Ray, I guess. Oh, he already has some. So, to Skith, I guess. There you go, Skith. And then uh, we'll just keep stacking the weapons and all the other stuff. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll dole that all out later. So, Red Rain, it's your time to hold some stuff. Uh, Ron's going to find yet another... I do realize that some of these guys are unconscious. Uh, I kind of figured that that was going to be the case. Oh, beep. Regain consciousness floating there. Um, Alright. So you're just going to take this stuff yourself. Their gear was not terrible. I'm also not executing them because you guys have said uh, that the constant amount of executions has made this a little easy. And I'm not going to... I'm definitely not going to deny that that's the case. It is the case. It is easy to be able to execute everyone. Uh, so as a result, what I'm going to do is only execute in extreme situations. And uh, lay off of the execute button otherwise. Alright, so these guys have a lot of good stuff. And I'm going to... Oh, got caught stealing? Yeah, right. Knock you unconscious. Um... I'm going to dole this out soon. Now that's one way to put him down. Just smash. And there's nothing left. Um, Alright, I guess Red Rain is conscious now, so I don't have to keep... Oh, he's playing at limbs, though. Dude, come back. You're, like, going off into the deep ocean. Well, it's not ocean, but I think you know what I mean. 
All right, there's a lot of these little ninja blades, and there's a lot of money wrapped up in the stuff I just obtained as well. So let's actually start doling out these pants. Stop it, Red. Don't go for don't go for limbs. Fine. He's like dead set at playing on limbs. Whose limb are you even going for now? I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna have you follow Ray. Actually, bodyguard Ray. You have a job now, and he's not listening to me at all. Nice. You are about three seconds for being picked up as a for being a bad puppy. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. All right, he's now picked up, and he's not going to be running around. All right, um, so the ninja masks, I'm just going to hand out. Uh, dark leather shirts, no one's ever going to be able to wear. Same with the boots, so I'm not going to worry about that. And these pants can be sent to um, our soldiers, because as long as it doesn't encumber them, that will help keep their legs a little bit better protected. Uh, I guess Beep already had some. And these old pants here, oops, I'm just going to throw away, because they're, they're literally not worth anything. Alright, and these masks are going to be handed out. Because they really, they don't provide a lot of protection, but they, um, but they certainly don't hurt either. That's the big thing, is you don't want to, um... Oh, here's some high grade. I guess you could... Oh, got caught stealing, huh? No, I don't want to splint him. I'm just going to pick him up and slam him on the ground, make him unconscious again. Um, yes, so ninja mask. Uh, let's give the ninja mask and the rags to Talon. And now Talon looks like a little martial arts ninja thing or something. I don't know. Okay, so we have more rags. We'll just hand these out. I guess... Crab, do you need some? Yes, that is pretty shoddy. So we'll give you that. Uh, Really? You want to stand back up? That's not going to be good for your health. But alright, sure. That's one dead cloud ninja. Uh, taking a quick look, I feel like I downed more Cloud Ninjas than that, so, um, there should be more gear. Wasn't there, like, a whole, yeah, yeah, there's definitely more gear. Uh, who has French E of inventory space? And there's another one in the water. Unconscious in acid water, that's not gotta be, that's gotta be pretty awful. And there's two here, or one here. I'm running out of space, as you can see. So, Hella, you get to do it. Uh-oh, that's not good. Alright, let's get everybody on this. There's a uh, iron spider that came up, and Ron put him down. And that has the chance of really wrecking my day. Right now, Thorns is tanking, but getting pretty hurt. Now, this is why I haven't moved to the main island. As you can see, one Iron Spider is really messing me up pretty good. Alright, down he goes, but not without deep cost. So I, I better keep a, a close eye on the surrounding areas because I don't need a repeat of that. Yo, Red, quit it. I need you to stop playing it. Fine. You want to play at limbs? Where are you going? Alright. You done? No, you're continuing to play on limbs. Alright. A quick health check for the ones that were came fell victim of that spider. Everybody has their, um, their limbs intact, which is the good news. I, uh, I don't... I don't, uh... He, Red Rain is moving around so much, he's pissing off Iron Spiders, which is a real problem. You are a such a bad puppy. 
Um, you, all right, I'm just gonna pick them up permanently and leave them there until we are out of this uh, hell hole, for lack of a better term. All right, so armor, cater, Styrofast, they need some armor. So here is for cater. And these guys, of course, are gonna be renamed. Uh, we have some pants. So we'll just go sequentially down the line. So Crab is gonna get these pants. Um, some of these blades are pretty good. So this one's gonna go to Hella. Hella doesn't have a backup blade. The next one is gonna go to Silver Shade. Doesn't have a backup blade, but now it does. Uh, this hat. And then I eventually want to put pretty much all the spare gear on the Bone Dogs so that I can know where it is and who has it. Uh, so Ron, you can probably give up those meds as you're not a doc. So the first three people in my roster here have the meds and then everyone else shouldn't need it. All right, Resnick is currently dying and really not close to anyone. I'm glad I noticed. All right, Silver Sh uh, Hella, you go heal. Silver Shade is carrying the Bone Dog, and is uh, definitely somewhat encumbered as a result. So Resnick needs some armor and stuff. Skith, we can get rid of this straw hat, I think, but I'll leave it on you for now. What else we got? Stork needs some armor. Batai needs some armor. And weapons, for that matter. But, of course, these guys are crafters, so they're eventually going to relinquish their weapons until I have a lot of spare. Alright, so taking a look at my lineup, we've got armor for you armor for stork pants for skith and this goes to a bone dog more armor who else needs armor or helmets or stuff let's see pants for cater and this is this was profitable, but um, I feel like it's kind of ruined my momentum for getting home this episode. Not that I mind, because this is real good stuff. Um, Alright, so Frenchie had a bunch of this. So armor for Bataille. Helmet for Bataille. We're going to look like uh, little swamp ninjas, aren't we? Give that to Stork. All right, and then another one to Skith. Yeah, there's not a lot of room left there for rearranging stuff. Now, pants. I have some spare pants. So, Cater needs some spare pants. Resnick's been uh, neglected as far as the armor goes. And it also appears that we have a patrolling iron spider here. That uh, is sort of cutting me off from Resnick, but hell is up to the, the task. I guess he really fell behind or wandered away or something. I'm not exactly sure what happened. And uh, got himself separated from the group pretty severely. But patching you up. And picking you up. And now I have to be careful because hell is slower than an iron spider. As you can see, the rivers are crawling with these things. So it's possible that I just didn't see it, because it was submerged. But let's get back with the group. I'd like to get eyes on the group. Yeah. So the Iron Spiders have passed. Let's get over to the group pronto. Because it's possible that another Iron Spider just kind of waltzes up and I'm going to miss it, because I'm too busy microing elsewhere. Alright, 
Now let's go through the inventories of everyone to make sure that uh, everything that could be uh, equipped and set up is equipped and set up. We could dole out some of these ninja blades for sure, for, for starters. Um, yeah, we don't really have anything left over. So the ninja blades are 46-ish damage, 52 for one of them. Uh, so, it's a little bit better than this Merc Club that Ray had. Stork, Steyr, Tal uh, Talon doesn't need a weapon. Stork and Steyr do need weapons, so... I do realize that this is looking more and more like a combat squad, but given this sort of... that I've only been defensive, uh, I'm not all that worried. Alright, Staff I can get rid of for one of these blades. On Cater. Oh, no, on uh, Skith. Resnick. That katana's just fine. And then I think we're good. We've sort of squared that nugget. Alright, now, as far as... This is not a particularly safe spot to... Um, to hang out. Um, at all. So, we're going to figure out how do we get out of here... So, we're going to have to start picking people up. So, Silvershade and Ron is going to have to put his weapon away so he can carry someone else. So, Ron is going to pick up Cookie. Red Rain, I'm just going to have to micromanage. Um, who is some carry weight? Beep does. Beep's going to pick up Crab. Resnick needs a pickup. Stork needs a pickup. So taking a look. Ray can pick up uh, Resnick. Unfortunately, actually, Ray is going to need to pick up himself because he is super slow due to the leg wound. So instead, um, Hella pick up Resnick. Yeah, we're not going to be moving quick out of here, are we? Uh, Chez... Pick up Stork. First, I'm going to make sure that everyone unconscious has a lift, so to speak. Thor, pick up a tie. So now, if I have everyone, we're all moving. Yes, we are all physically moving. And then at this rate, uh, I need to figure out who can pick up Ray, because Ray has a very busted leg. So it's going to be not Skith, because Skith has a busted leg. Maybe Talon? Or Star, yeah, Talon. Talon, pick up Ray. I think that makes Talon probably our slowest mover, but let's check. No, Skith is slower. Chez is slower. All right, so we're all gonna follow Chez out of here at the speed of nothing, barely moving. I wouldn't mind getting to Black Desert City, but there's a lot of spiders between me and there which would make it challenging and dangerous. So I'm going to have to keep an eye open for them spiders, because I definitely don't want to get spidered. As I've said in the past, the issue isn't, can you defeat this group, like the Cloud Ninjas that I beat down? It is, can you beat them and not then get stuck trying to recover in a very dangerous spot? Because this is no place to heal. This is full of iron spiders that are dangerous at best. But we did beat one down. Granted, it was like a 10 on 1, but we did beat one down f sort of fairly. So that's cool. Sorry for the bad camera work. I'm just eager to get out of this terrible spot there. Let's uh, bust out this way. We're going to be close to Holy uh, Holy Nation Mine Ruin, but uh, at least we're in the Skinner's Realm where there's going to be a lot fewer uh, nasty spiders. Alright, taking a quick look to see if any of these guys have regained consciousness. So Ray, uh, Ray has consciousness, but a terrible leg. So yeah, we'll, we'll continue with this. So... 
Chaz is hobbling on a broken leg carrying someone, which makes him really slow. That is the real bottleneck. Well, the bottleneck is everyone's down, but I could throw down camping bags to try to get some people back up, but I think it's going to be faster to just get to the hub, hobble to the hub, and hope we don't happen upon a Holy Nation patrol. Because they will be able to run us down pretty good. So I'll just have to be vigilant and micromanage my way around them. And sort of stay a little bit off of the road there because although the road tends to have fewer dangers like animal nests and things like that, they're also going to have Holy Nation patrols because I'm actually functionally in the Holy Nation and uh, territory and they patrol pretty heavily and they their numbers roll pretty deep when they patrol it's not like a patrol of three or five it's a patrol of 20 or 30 um, and even if you could take on the 30 you're almost certainly gonna get another 30 before you finish the first 30 and it kind of snowballs that way because they patrol so often so here's a smaller patrol. No, these are hungry bandits. All right. Well, they ought to. I'm. I'm upwind from them, but I think they're gonna leave me alone anyway. Ooh, this is quite thick. Whatever this is, dust, hubboob, dust storm. It's gonna be tough to know if I'm running into a big patrol, but all right, we're through it. Looks like. Talon is now falling behind. Talon is now the slowest, so we're going to follow him. This is, I suppose, unintentionally uh, pretty good um, strength training because having to haul people sometimes builds up strength. And we got some hungry benditos here. So what I'm going to do is um, everybody is going to put everyone else down to improve their combat effectiveness. And we are going to fight this out. I think at this point, uh, likely what I'm going to do is... Who's got the beds? You give that to Ray. Uh, all of... Or a few more. And then Ray is going to start setting up beds and uh, letting people... I'm really close to the road, but I'll just keep an eye out, letting people rest, because I'm not moving fast enough to get myself out of danger in a reasonable amount of time. As you can see, these um, these hungry bandits... If a hungry bandit can chase me down, anyone and everyone can chase me down. Alright, Ray. Pick up Cookie, put Cookie in the bed. I'm not even watching the fight, because I know I'm going to win. It's just Hungry Bandits. They don't really pose much of a threat. Alright, so the remaining beds go to Silver Shade. Why not? Silver Shade, you are going to pick Beep up. Poor little Beeper, he's seen better days. I guess Resnick went down again. Uh, build some of these beds. And try to get the unconscious people conscious as soon as we are able. Especially the ones that have decent legs. That they can run under their own power. Because I have the capacity to carry maybe two people at relatively decent speeds. But not six. Six is way too many. And then as soon as Frenchie recovers from his coma, he'll be able to start splinting people's limbs up. So actually Frenchie is probably the person that should first be... Uh, put to bed to uh, regain consciousness. Uh, Silver Shade at this point. Let's take away the horse chopper that they had. All the other bandits are going to have little iron improvised sticks, but the horse chopper from the leader. I uh, suspect this one is the leader. Or uh, this one is, yeah, has the horse chopper. So better stuff. So Beep's already conscious. Get him out of the bed. Put Ray in, because he's limping pretty hard. 
And then soon French Frenchie will gring, regain consciousness and be able to um, uh, be able to splint up some people to have them speed up. That's probably the slow way of exchanging goods. Now I'm just going to make sure that I don't have um, I don't have any unnecessary items on anyone so that all of the things that I want to sell are on those bone dogs. So do a quick scan for that. Yeah, that is definitely true. All right, so Frenchie's up. Uh, someone that is limping hard. Let's see. Maybe let's put one of the unconscious people in bed. Oh, one of the uh, hungry bandits regained consciousness. And that was short-lived. All right, Frenchie, go back to splinting. So Chez is splinted up. I guess if he's not splinting anyone, that means everyone's splinted. So the people that are standing... Most of them can move at pretty reasonable speeds. So we're just waiting on the people that are uh, currently sleeping. Um, let's go ahead and pick up Stork. And then we'll be moving at f full speed, which is going to be a lot safer in this dangerous territory. Because I've been zoomed in pretty hard and not really looking at my surroundings. Because uh, there's definitely the possibility of Holy Nation ripping through. Alright, Stork is now conscious, so I think everyone is... Oh, uh, except for Patai, everyone is conscious. He's the, the last one knocked out. And I think what I'm going to do is, as soon as he's conscious, I'm going to boogie. Staying here is not a good long-term plan, uh, given that it would just take one Holy Nation patrol to kill us all. And I don't really want that. Alright, I don't think the Bone Dogs have room for... Oh, maybe uh, Thorns does. Alright, and then the slowest person we've got here. So far it's Frenchie at 20, Thor at 18. 18 still okay enough. Outrun most. Uh, Ray at 17? Alright. Let's hope we don't happen upon any big anything. 17 miles an hour isn't terrible, though. It allows us to outrun at least bandits. Most of the Holy Nation patrol clocks in around 18. But if I needed to, I could always pick Ray up uh, with Ron or something like that and carry him along. Speed myself up because Ron isn't using his big billy club right now, so he has a lot of carry weight. Speaking of which, uh, his, his strength hasn't gone up ridiculously, but uh, that's mostly because he can't swing that thing fast enough to really train with it. So right here is a Holy Nation mine that I'm just going to walk past and hopefully not raise any alarms. I don't uh, not looking to pick a fight with them at the moment. Oh, and I wandered straight into a Dust Bandit camp. Go me. Way to go. Alright, so I see that Bataille is unconscious. I'm going to have to go back for him. I wasn't really looking where I'm going. Uh, they're just Dust Bandits, so they're really not going to do any damage. Um, it's not like they're cannibals or something. They're not going to eat them. But let's see, we've got Silvershade and Ron that are going to double back now. Grab Batai. Do a quick rescue mission. So I'm going to whiz by with Ron, sweep up all the people that are camping on Batai, and then try to double back with Silvershade and pick Batai up and just get out of dodge. Or something like that. I could take all these guys out, but again, I'm deep within Holy Nation territory, so it's really not safe for me to linger. And mission accomplished. So Dust Bandits have no idea what I just did. And that's why it's really important to have some people strong enough to carry others, because if Ron or Silvershade, Silvershade can run with 
holding a person at 20 miles an hour. If uh, that wasn't the case, uh, that kind of rescue mission would have been all but impossible. Um, and then, of course, Ron can run with someone at 27 miles an hour. That is like... Oh, no, hold on. We haven't picked up a tie yet. But I'm pretty sure that's still the case. Yep, yeah, 27 miles an hour even while carrying a load. Because this doesn't even affect his strength. Uh, he's still registering as weightless. Alright, Ray. Time to watch where we're going. Heading to that way station. That way station should have enough beds. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves here. Should have enough beds for me to do a decent amount of healing. Because once everyone's healed up, the random... Um, a random group of uh, bandits is not going to be really any problem for this group. Although I shouldn't be looking for an attack. Uh, this is a... Not an attack squad. Alright, so there's even more hungry bandits here. You know what? There's so few of them. So Crab got knocked out. And that is pretty much the extent of the damage. These wolves... Oh no, they're goats. They're not bone dogs. So they're not even going to bother me. Alright, we got a bunch of patching done. Crab's going to need a lift. So let's pick him up with Silver Shade. Ray is still the slowest. And maybe loot the leader. Just because he has a blade. Wherever he is. Here she is. Uh, it's only 100, but whatever. Money's money. I have no room for it. Right, fine. I'm going to leave it. Uh, let's follow Ray. And it will be pretty obvious if Ray is no longer the fastest. Because Ray will... They'll fall behind. Nope. Ray's still the slowest. So otherwise, it would be really obvious that someone got, you know, left behind. Alright, this poor ragtag group just... Alright, so there's a bandit camp up ahead. I'll have to avoid walking through there. And we're headed to the way station because they'll have, they'll have beds for us. Because it's not like the hub has a lot of beds. They only have one bar. If we were near, like, um, Squin. Squin, I know, has two bars. So they'll have a lot of beds. But we're not that close to Squin. Alright, let's just go to the way station. Let's not linger too long. And as you can see, they have, you know, plenty of facilities for recovery. Alright, so second floor we go. Somehow or another, my bone... Oh, uh, no. Nah. As I thought, they are stuck out there. Alright, so whoever has Batai, let's put Batai down. Ron. Silver Shade and Ron. Put them in the beds. And then, whoever's limping hard also will get thrown in to recovery as a priority. Alright. And then, um, oh, Chez. Yeah, you're limping pretty hard, too. Thor is f pretty much fully healthy. Beep. Cookie. Anyone that's really unhealthy is going to get some rest time. Ron. Frenchie. Stare fast. Alright, and then... Everyone else can uh, go to the other facility. So, Silver Shade, pick up. How hurt is. Alright, pick up Thorns. Hella, pick up Red Rain. Because they can't walk in. They're too big. But, you know, if we pick them up, they can. Heal the dogs. Oh, this, those aren't for rent. Okay. Uh, well, I'm probably too close to set up beds to this outpost, but, uh, I could set up beds here. One, two, three, four, five. That's at least something. That's as good as the rented beds, I guess. Um, so thorns, let's give all those to Silvershade. Silvershade will set these up, and we'll get some additional healing. Thorns in a bed. Red Rain in a bed. All 
Alright, and then who else is hurt here? Talon's not hurt that much, but these are free beds, so Resnick. Because Thor, Hela, and Silvershade are all pretty healthy. Okay, cool. That is a fair amount of healing. So Thor, Silvershade, and Resnick. Let's check out what the city has to offer. Or this outpost. It's not, not a city. Uh, they've got a soldier here. Plop. Alright, so he wants 6,000 cats to be recruited. That generally indicates that he is good at combat. Uh, and then there's a drone here as well. Oh, or, eh, maybe. No, I'm talking to Moo. I want to talk to... Oh, he's a thief fence. Never mind. He's a fence. He's not recruitable. Alright, so there is a soldier here that I can recruit. Oh, what about upstairs? There are two... Yep, there's the wall. So there's two soldiers here that can recruit. Uh, which means I'm going to need to carry thorns and red rain to somewhere where I can sell some stuff. So let's go interrupt their rest time. Because I'm adding to my numbers. Yoink! I like that unison. That was like perfect, perfect unison there. Alright, so let's see. Silvershade, talk to the construction trader. And we're going to sell boots and shirts first. And the swords and the claws. Oops. Buy that back. The blade. The animal skin. And they're out of money, and I've made lots, as you can see, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. I want to buy research books. There we go. All right, that's plenty of money for the recruits I need. So we will put these uh, two bone dogs back. Uh, Thor and uh, Hela is going to watch over the can the unconscious because it's entirely possible to get messed with. That's not a, a zero possibility. And then we've got Plop here. So let me open my list of people to name. And this one's going to be named... Um, Uh, minus. Alright, Minus, you're a little malnourished. How is your stats? Oh, you are overcharging, man. He's he's not a combat... He has a little bit of strength, but he has no combat skills whatsoever. Liar. That's okay. We we're going to pay for him anyway. Alright, I'm going to send Minus to go hang out by Thorn so he can get a bite to eat. And Silvershade's going to go upstairs and talk to the wall. Who looks to actually wear armor. Oh, he might not be recruitable. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's uh, being hired out for bodyguards. Generally, when they're wearing a bunch of gear, they're not recruits. Uh, Cookie got out of bed. No, Cookie's in bed. It's just I had a dude that looked kind of like Cookie standing on my head. There's also a free bed here. Silvershade, you want a bed? Very expensive, but, you know, whatever. It's worth it. Alright, Minus. He is a little teeny wakasashi. Clearly did not come equipped for this. And I guess, Hella, let's just poke around and make sure there's... Oh, look, there's some hungry bandits. Make sure there's uh, absolutely no one left to recruit in this area, and I don't think there are. are. There are, however, um, things to buy if I need to buy stuff. But no, there's no one to recruit. Because these are thief fences. Yep. And claws, not for... Not... Tr for sale or whatever. Sale is the wrong word. Not to re be recruited. Alright, once people start fully healing, like Ron here... I'm going to send them to rendezvous in a group so I know when everyone's fully healed.
Skith is close enough. And Minus is going to probably be the slowest dude in the group. Because he's a soldier that just got recruited. Alright, Hell and Silver are close enough. Red Rain is good to go. Just needs to be picked up. Quit playing at Bones, dude. Cater is good enough. Stairfast, Stork, Ray, Beep, Frenchy. Oh, wait. Frenchy? Oh, no, not Frenchy. So I have some nicer beds that are freed up that uh, we'll put the sleepers in now because they heal faster in these nice beds a lot faster uh, thorns is good now too come on trade there we go so now we're just waiting on resnick who can just hop in one of these nicer beds. And all my camp beds are all done. So they're just waiting on these four. And they should not be long. I'm going to look through all of their orders, making sure that no one has things they should not have. So, Medic, Splint, Medic, and then a whole bunch of no jobs. Good. Frenchie's healthy. Koki's healthy. Resnick's healthy. Chez, you're good enough. Alright, as suspected, Minus here is definitely the slowest, and we are going to head towards Hub. As one big happy group. And get some of the people that don't have proper names yet named. And then head home and start the wonderful amount of crafting that we're going to do. I'm quite excited about that. I'm going to wait for this zone to load. Well, sort of wait. There we go. Loading... I like how the uh, the like military formation obviously falls apart once you're in a confined space like the ca canyon walls. Okay, Minus is a very, very bad navigator. Just run to this point. Nope. Alright, I will manually control you then. Sometimes pathing... So there's a, uh, there's a setting about how much uh, people prioritize moving on... Um, alright, there's a lot of weapons here that, uh, I concede, I'll, I'll go pick up. Minus here needs definitely a weapon, because he is a really extraordinarily crummy Wakasashi, and I just probably picked up a not-so-good weapon, but, uh, there's a whole, there's a whole, uh, ruin full of weapons here, so I might as well grab them. So this point I think that ninja blades my favorite and this will allow me to to sell some more stuff if I need to okay uh, also let's get rid of the execute on minus because that would not be good um, and we'll loot all this junk who has a big old backpack full of room uh, hella you do
some of these iron sticks are probably more worth melting down back at my base than they are even uh, to sell, but I'm not going to carry them that long, I don't think. Now trade with Red Rain. A lot of really crummy, rusty weapons. Eh, but they'll sell for, you know, a little bit here or there. Oh, I'm not even going to worry about that iron stick. I should have probably not even grabbed the iron sticks, to be honest. Because they're so trash. Alright, heading to the hub, guys. Hubway we go. Oh, looks like some people got left behind too, but they're catching up. And in the hub, there's the Shinobi Thief uh, Tower that will allow us to do some renaming. And then, as I mentioned, uh, crafting. And I'm really excited about that because I haven't even seen half the options. Uh, because we have so many mods that introduce so much new good stuff, like Hiver Armor and um, all of the Cannibal and... Um, scree Screecher armor. And even more than that. Alright, come on, Resnick. Catch up. And then I kind of have to establish, like, uniforms. Like, combat uniforms, non-combat uniforms, that kind of stuff. Alright, so here is the... I guess I have enough money to swing back... Or, you know what? Before we go and do the naming, I'm going to head into the bar here and sell off those crummy little weapons that I got. This barman... Uh, we'll be, afford to be able to afford some of them. Especially because he's selling some blueprints. So he's selling plank blueprints. Going to buy it. Market... Tent installs. I know. I know all the others. So, okay. We bought what we could there. Time for me to offload a bunch of these rusty weapons that take up a lot of their room in my inventory. As a general rule of thumb, the rustier, the worst quality. That is a very rough rule of thumb, but it does hold true pretty nicely. So, there's no hivers on the first floor, no hivers on the second floor, so there's no one to recruit there. Let's head over to the Shinobi Thieves. Uh, we are going to need some backpacks, probably. But that's not my priority here. My priority here is, of course, renaming the people. So, here's the Plastic Surgeon. So, let's go and do this. Cater. Do it now. Cater, your new name is going to be Geyser. Congratulations, Styrefast. Your new name is going to be Heresy. Uh, Stork. It's like slave name and actual name. Something like that. You are going to be Sto Snowy. And then, uh, Bataille. Definitely not going to keep your name named after a slave city. Wait. Why can't I... Where'd that surgeon go? What the heck? What's going on here? Did the surgeon just ghost me? Oh, he sat down over there. Okay. Uh, Batai. You're gonna be Johnny. Alright, very nice. So they all have the names that they should. Now let's uh, talk to the trader. And... Well, all right. Uh, we'll buy some backpacks. So who needs... Um, let's see. Snowy. Heresy. Geyser. They'll get backpacks. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to comp for anything else. We're just about out of money anyway. All right. So let's go follow Minus and start to walk home. It is certainly not a safe walk necessarily. Uh, I'm going to take the western path, which is kind of the big thing and uh, edge of the fog path. Not a safe one, but 
it is probably the quickest way home from here. So speaking of home, um, it might be a good time to check in on home. So let's see how home is doing. So Ferris is cooking up a bunch of fish. Angel looks idle. Oh, in fact, it looks like I have enough idle people that I'm going to need some additional um, seats here. But I could probably fix that. So, Angel, let's clear up the uh, the electrical components bench. Oh, boy. We're going to have so much money once we do our first trade caravan. It's not going to be proper caravan because we don't have, like, Pack Beast or um, Garu or anything like that. But I am excited nonetheless. All right. So, that puts Queen back to work. Angel, you're not working because presumably you're out of green fruit? But do you have cactus? Oh, we have plenty of food, though. You do have cactus. So let's switch back. Actually, let's get rid of this bed. We don't really need a bed in there anymore. Let's switch back from um, food cubes to... Uh, I could also do cooked vegetables, but from food cubes to dust witches. And she's back to work. Pillar, you say there's nothing left to loom? That's true, so enjoy your seat. All right, looking good, looking good back here. Hanging out, no one showed up, and no one is queued to show up. That's not bad while I'm away. I'm sort of used to Ray being the slow man in the group, but no, it's minus now. Gonna have to remember that. Now, it's possible that I um, give Cookie's Mask to Hella or Frenchie and have them go into the fog to see if there's uh, Hivers in Mongrel to recruit. And I'm sort of... Um, I'll probably not be doing that this episode, as this episode is soon to be over. But uh, if you have feedback on that front, you can let me know. So what I'm doing now is just, I guess it's segregation, but I'm um, segregating out the combat from the non-combat. So, tell on your combat. Because a lot of the people towards the end of this squad list are non-combat. I guess Skith is, and Crab are combat too. But Resnick, Geyser, Heresy, Snowy, Johnny, none of them are going to be used as combat. Uh, so if you're curious about the occupations here... Uh, Heresy is going to become our robotics crafter. Snowy is going to be just a general crafter, uh, like fabrics or something like that. Johnny is going to become a rancher. Not that I really have a ranch yet, but that will be the eventual job. And then Geyser is going to become just a general laborer, like a hauler or a miner. Um, Resnick is going to be our armorsmith. Crab actually is going to be our weaponsmith. So Crab, you are non-combat. Let's move you. Um, Skith is going to be an armor or weaponsmith as well. Uh, what else? That might be about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm seeing a whole lot of beak thing eggs here, there's got to be a lot of beak things. Yes, there are. Let's get moving. Somehow or another, they haven't picked up my, uh, my scent. Not really. Oh, I got lucky. I just walked past a nest and it didn't pay me any attention. Now, I could probably take on a few big things. I've already killed a few myself, but uh, given that it just took me considerable effort to fully heal up, I really don't want to throw a wrench into the works and slow myself down again because I tabbed out to tell you names and occupations and walked straight into a big thing nest. That would be bad. Right, Ray's having trouble keeping up, which means Minus and Ray are probably roughly... Yeah, they are roughly the same speed. No one in this... No one in any of these high villages are going to talk to me, because I'm hiveless. I don't have the queen here. Uh, so there's no point in stopping. Unless, of course, I was being attacked by... Um, by big things. 
I guess it is time to decide, am I sending someone into... Oops, I forgot I had this blade. And yeah, I think what is going to happen is I'm going to send Hella, who has pretty decent carry weight and can sort of manage... Well, she can't handle like a hive swarm, but she can more or less handle on her own, and I'm going to lower her carry weight even more and send her into Mongrel solo. A dangerous trip, but maybe a worthy one if she ends up getting recruits. And she's already being chased by the fog, that's funny. They move like nine miles an hour slower than she does, so not much of an issue there. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is Hella's gonna become put into the keepers here, into a separate squad. All right, Resnick, you're having trouble following? That's actually on you, dude, because you have plenty of speed to follow Minus. I'm going to set all these guys temporarily on passive unless they get hit, because I'm not interested in interacting with the fog. They are all uh, roleplay here. They're all somewhat infected, and unless we have personal protective gear, we probably shouldn't be... I know the rule is that we shouldn't go into the fog, um, but if they are the disease carriers, we probably also shouldn't engage the fog, or at least engage them limitedly unless I have personal protective equipment like uh, Hella does because you know they're think of think of the fog as like Ebola right like you wouldn't want to go into an Ebola stricken territory because obviously that's a terrible idea you're gonna get Ebola uh, but you also wouldn't want to like get in a fist fight with someone with Ebola because you know you're gonna get Ebola um, Yes, so I will try not to engage the fog unless I have no choice. It's possible that I will have no choice, and I'm not going to... Like, let's say someone got knocked unconscious and abducted, I'm not going to just let the fog eat that person. Um, yeah, that's just not a, a decision I would make. So, uh, I'm just about out of time. And I will have to pick this up next time. If you are a patron of mine and you don't already have a pawn named after you, uh, drop me a line and I'll add you to the queue. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, let me know. And I will uh, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Adios.